this month has been all about creating stability in the joints um, it's for anyone, but especially for those who are hypermobile in the joints. So we talked about, we're gonna talk about some of the modifications um, that we discussed for the four poses. So we talked about a seated twist and kind of almost removing the arms from the, from the equation in the beginning. So we are lengthening through the spine, we're pulling the belly button and engaging the core, lifting, you can lift, you don't have to, you could even be halfway. We're rotating with muscles here. We're not flinging into it. Okay, and then we can add the hands if we choose. We're engaging, we're using those obliques and different muscles to, to turn us. And we talked about downward facing dog and how we can use a strap around the upper elbows and how we can create stability in any of these poses by balancing the internal and external pull on the muscles. So here we're not pressing down through the pinky, we're pressing down more through the pointer finger and making sure that we are mindful of our knees, our elbows, even the side joints and the spine. We talked about warrior two, where as our knee is bent here, we're gonna put more of the weight on the heel. We're gonna lift the back kneecap. We're gonna activate the quads. We can keep a slight micro bend here, just a little tiny bend, right? We're lifting here, we're balancing both sides of the thigh and we're pulling the hip bone into the socket. We're keeping the head of the femur in the acetabulum. We talked about triangle pose and how we're pulling the shin forward and a little more of our weights on the toe in a straight legged pose. And as we come here, we could put a block back here. We can micro bend the back knee if we feel it kind of going backwards. The whole goal here is to create stability, to create strength and practice safely and stay within more of a normal range of motion than maybe we typically do if we're hypermobile.